We're from the University of Michigan, and we're testing an electrostatic thruster called NanoFET. This is the first phase of one. We're using microparticles accelerated by an electric field. NanoFET stands for the Nanoparticle Field Extraction Thruster. And what it's intended to do is to, uh, for us to develop a technology that allows us to fly propulsion units for small spacecraft. This is the M1 prototype of the nanoparticle field extraction thruster. And it works in the following way. We have particles that are housed in the particle reservoir, which is just a syringe. The particles are made of nickel-plated glass. And they are pushed up to a sieve that's up here at the top by a constant force spring and the sieve is biased with ground potential and the gate, the acceleration gate is biased with a high voltage potential. So the difference in potentials causes there to be an electric field in between the sieve and the gate which applies a force onto the particles which lifts them off of the sieve. By adding momentum to the nanoparticles we're also able to add momentum to the spacecraft and that propels the spacecraft forward. The actual type of spacecraft that NanoFET is being designed for are so-called nanosats, which are spacecraft that have a mass between one and 10 kilograms. Um, there are two nanosats that are being developed with significant st student work here at the University of Michigan. Our goal is to develop NanoFET to the point where we can actually uh, have a student satellite demonstrate NanoFET's capabilities in orbit. There are actually many, um, we think, uh, terrestrial applications, non-space applications for NanoFET. One of the ones that we're excited about, um, that we think it has a, a good chance of achieving, is the use of NanoFET to avoid uh, kids ever having to experience uh, needles again. You actually charge particles filled with medicine and you accelerate them to a very high speed where they just pass through the uh, membranes of your outer skin. The sub-project that we're involved with here is a project called ZEST, which stands for the Zero-G Electrostatic Thruster Testbed. And this is a subset of the overall NanoFET program where we're taking uh, prototypes of the NanoFET device and putting them in a relevant test environment. The students flew on an aircraft that flies these parabolic trajectories that simulates the lack of significant gravity in orbit. Flying in microgravity is just an unbelievable experience. You get kicked in the face a few times because people are like flying all over the place. But after about two or three parabolas, you just get in this repetitive routine. Like every 20 seconds, you, you know, zoom over to your experiment, you sit there, you try to hold yourself there, you run it, and then you feel your body get sucked back down to the floor again. What we basically learned from the M1 thruster is that the principle works, uh, but we have a lot of problems. Um, we identified those problems by being able to test it in microgravity. We're actually designing the next generation prototype called the M2 thruster currently, and we're trying to identify and solve all those problems. Part of the reason why I think NanoFET's a great vehicle for um, educating and training students in engineering is that because you run into a dead end, it, it, you have to develop an innovative solution around the dead end, and the students get a bird's eye view of how to do that.